can we tell that in exam that the standard for uh, distal uh, is uh, i believe but uh, recently they are more in favor of uh, is it written in the book that it is ideal, <coughs> ideal? yes so they say i have not recently read that book if it is written there you can give a reference otherwise in my opinion your examiners are very experienced you can just tell your institutional policy i remember long time ago when i was appearing in my frcsy y in glasgow so they said this, it was long time ago she said there was a 30 years old lady she came with a 3 into 3 cm lump in the breast and uh, what will be your principle of management principles of surgery so i was describing principle of surgery and then it was proved it is biopsy proven said what would you like to do i said i'll book for modified radical mastectomy and that gentleman said oh hold on hold on hold on 33 years old lady and there is 3 by 3 cm lump and you are talking about chopping her breast so i just told him at that time you no know, i said look i am working in an area which is very very you know underprivileged area most of these ladies they are they come from village and there is an every chance that they will be lost in follow up and moreover in some of the hospitals there is no dedicated oncology center available where they can be followed up with radiotherapy or chemotherapy so this is our institutional policy that we do modified radical mastectomy once it is proved to be to be legal and he immediately said i'm sure they must be conserving the breast at that time she said okay if it is your institutional policy then it is perfectly fine moreover i told him that we don't have any trial going on in our hospital in which we are comparing breast conservation with that of modified radical mastectomy in various type of malignancies so this is why we just offer the patient what is optimum for us and that is modified radical mastectomy and he agreed to it it was an frcs part 2 exam he agreed to it he said okay if it is your institutional policy then i have no problem with it okay tell me how do you perform mrm and he just went to that so whatever you say that has to have a conviction has to be a logical reason i remember last time when i was conducting a viva for fcps there was a gentleman he there, he there was a big patient huge patient had a big hernia on the right side big hernia on the left side and he was everything like this right and then uh, when he was examined uh, because he was very fat and all, so so we, discussion went very fine he discussed all those things i said okay son tell me what would you like to do in this patient he said i will do herniography i said okay how would you do it he said i will be doing laparoscopic hernia repair this much big hernia very fat patient so i said okay fine that's that's lovely have you ever done it before he said no like have you seen it someone doing i said no sir man ka how will you do it then Uh, but sir this is the recent medical but have you seen someone doing it and have you done it he said no medical when it is you have not seen it how can you do it on this patient so please remember in the exam it is not asked what is being performed in job Hon john hopkins university <laughs> and what you have read in the recent journal of uh, british british journal of surgery or american journal of surgery or lancet or or surgeon of you know pakistan society of surgeons last uh, issue They, you are being judged what you would do in these circumstances so all novel approaches or modern approaches or recent advances you supposed to tell when it is asked right and when it is not asked then just tell what you are trained in doing it and you always have you can always have a justification in telling that that is what you are going to do in exam right All right thank you very much we had a good talk thank you sir